Hello and welcome to Daily Bread, Thoughts for Your Devotions. Guys, it's Tuesday, April 21st, and I'm glad that you're tuning in whenever you tune in. Today we are going to follow through on our topic from yesterday, which is how do you know if you are growing in the right direction spiritually? And we talked about having Christ as our foundation. Now, remember I said that my dad went and looked at cars in, across the United States and found out eventually that each and every one of them had problems that you couldn't see on the outside. Similarly, when you buy a house, uh, you want to make sure that the foundation is good because you can look all around and see things that need repair and, and cosmetic things that, uh, that need fixing, but unless you have a, f a firm foundation that is solid, uh, it, it's all going to be for naught. That applies to what we're talking about today because we all need a foundation. We all need to sometimes lift up the hood and look underneath and, and see what's really going on inside of us in order to grow spiritually and, uh, and as a human. 1 Peter 2 says, Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all slander. So when you look up under the hood, when you look at the foundation that you stand on, do you see noble things? Do you see the opposite of these? Do you, do you see um, not malice, but goodwill? Do you see... Uh, not deceit, but honesty and truth. You see, not hypocrisy, but authenticity. Do you see not envy, but um, pride when you look at your, uh, at your friends and your family and, and, and earnestness? Do you not see slander, but a heart that overflows with the fullness of blessing that God has given to you? I think it's important for us to stop and think about that because sometimes we as human beings have the tendency to look at ourselves in a more, much more positive light than we look at other people. And that means that we tend to think the worst about other people when they do things wrong. And when we do things wrong, we're quick to forgive ourselves, but we remember other people's sins. Having a firm foundation will help us to to move forward in a, in a healthy way. So Peter continues from 1 Peter 2, like newborn infants, desire the pure milk of the word so that you may grow up into your salvation if you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by people but chosen and honored by God, you yourselves as living stones, a spiritual house, are being built to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. There's a lot going on here. But ultimately what Peter is saying is that even if you think that you're mature, even if you've been in the faith your entire life, even if you've been a Christian for your whole life, perhaps in this moment of reflection as we're thinking about growing spiritually, Consider yourselves as infants. And what do infants need? He says, the pure milk of the word. And so what is the first sort of step that you and I participate in after God has called us to faith? It is desiring after the word of God. The word of God, capital W, is Jesus. And from Jesus, all of the things that we experience uh, in, a sp in the spiritual realm have been, have been redeemed. Now, this means that as we, as we seek to rid ourselves of all of the, the cracks in our foundation, all of, the, all of the things that we try to cover up cosmetically in order for other people to think that we're spiritually mature, we get an opportunity now, the freedom that we find in Christ allows us to go back to being infants for the purpose of growing up in a healthy way. You see, sometimes when there's something wrong with the foundation of a house, you have to take it down to the foundational level. 
right? Sometimes you have to level the whole house in order to fix uh, the foundation. I don't know, I'm not an architect or a, or a builder, but I know that if the foundation is really, really rotten, you just have to take and get rid of all of the house in order to fix the, the foundation to repair it and restore it. Sometimes if the car that you're trying to seek out and buy uh, looks really good on the outside, but inside it's all rusted out, you gotta take the whole body off and do a frame off restoration. Now, you and I have little power to take the frame off. You and I have a, a weak will that's shaped by this world sometimes, and so it can be really, really difficult to stop trying to cover things up cosmetically in order to present ourselves to our peers as mature Christians. But that's where God promises to be faithful. And when we seek out his word, he's doing that very thing that, that we're talking about here. He's, he's taking that, that malice, that deceit, that hypocrisy, that envy, that slander, that inauthenticity. He's taking that off in order to replace whatever foundation you've been building on with himself. This is monumental for me because I know that time and time again, I've been brought down to the foundation level where I, I just know there's something wrong. And God shows it to me. And he shows me that he is the answer. And it's not quite so quaint as that. Sometimes it's difficult Sometimes it is incredibly complex, but our God is a God of restoration, reconciliation, forgiveness, and freedom. And he wants that for you as his image bearers here in this world. And so it's my prayer for you that as you allow yourself to, to, to kind of think of yourself as a spiritual infant for just a little while while it's helpful, Go back to the foundational level. Re-engage with God's word. There are plenty of tools out there. You know, I use, I use my cell phone as I'm reading through scripture and I have reminders set to read and to pray and that sort of thing. Perhaps that can be helpful for you as you get back down to the foundation in order that God might build you up into a mature Christian. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are the foundation. You are uh, the author and the perfecter of our faith. And you have called us to be living stones, a spiritual house, so that we can offer spiritual sacrifices that are acceptable to God, as you offered yourself up to be a perfect sacrifice for our forgiveness and restoration. Now, Lord God, please, restore us. Retake your place as our foundation as we navigate this life and the eternity that you have laid out before us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.